My name is Michael Eliason from Western Sales. I am going to show you how to use Layout Manager on your John Deere Gen 4 display to create and edit run pages and your shortcut bar. There are two methods that I will show you. For the first, select the menu button in the bottom right hand corner, then Applications on the left hand side, and then find the Layout Manager button and select it. You can see on the left hand side that there are three options, Active Set, Shortcut Bar, and All Run Pages. Active Set is where you select your current home pages. Shortcut Bar lets you edit which shortcuts are at the bottom of your screen, and All Run Pages lets you edit and create home pages. I will show you how to use all three of these areas. Your new machine will come with some home pages already set up under All Run Pages. You cannot edit these pages, but you can copy them and then edit the copies. The first thing you will need to do is name the page. After that, you can make whatever changes you would like to to that home page. In the Edit page, you can select any module that you like by pressing on it. If you would like to remove a module, select it and then press the Delete button on the left hand side. Once you have some free space, you can rearrange any modules on the page however you like. You can see that I have some unused space on this page. I do not have to fill all available space if I do not want to. When you finish editing your page, select the Save button in the bottom right hand corner. You will see that the page I just created now shows in all run pages with the name that I gave it. The unused space from that page will show as brown background. If you want to create an entirely new run page, select the Add New button at the bottom of the page. You will again need to name the page. To add modules to your page, select the Add Module button on the bottom left hand side to search for what modules you want to add. When you are searching the modules, you will see that there is often multiple choices of the same basic module, just available in different sizes. Pay attention to the description to the right of the module image to get more information on what that module does. Some modules look similar, but have very different functions. The description also has a preview of what the module could look like on your homepage, showing how much space the module would fill. You have the ability to put the modules that you add on the page wherever you like. The preview function will also tell you if there is not currently space for that module on the home page. Once you finish adding modules to your home page, select the Save button. To have this page show up in your home pages when you return to them, you will need to go to Active Sets and select Active Run Pages, and then Add Run Page at the bottom. Next, select the page that you just created and select Save. Now, if you exit the menu, you will see that you can use the home page that you just created. You can use the arrow keys in the top right hand corner to switch between home pages that are active. The name that you gave it will show up in the top left hand corner. Another way to navigate your home pages is a short press on the top left hand corner where the page title is shown. This will open a page with all of your active home pages. From here you can select whichever page you would like to see. This is also where you can access the second way to create a new home page. If you select new run page from here, you'll be taken to the same page creation application that we had just used. This is useful if you know that you do not have the page that you want created already. If you create a home page this way, it will automatically be included in your active pages. The other area that we can edit through the layout manager is the shortcut bar. This is the bar at the bottom of the page. To edit this bar, we need to return to Layout Manager and the Applications menu. 
Then we will need to select shortcut bars and then default shortcut bar. To edit the bar, select the module that you want to remove and then press the remove shortcut button. Once there is open space, the other modules can be moved around on the bar by pressing on them and dragging. To add a new module, select the plus sign on the shortcut bar to see what options you have to add different modules. The modules will again have descriptions of what they do beside them. Once you have made whichever changes you desire, select save and exit the menu and you will see that your changes are active.